video blog number 32. Like it's in 32K, or 32 megs, or 32 gigs. But not. Line 10, print, hello world. That's what I did 30 years ago. This was the first computer I ever had. It was a 16K TRS-80 Model 1. The original label, still hanging on. 16K Level 2, barely hanging on. I'm probably talking too loud, but look at that. I mean, coding assembly language on this thing was just like, it was insane. All right, let's go talk to some folks. Let's talk to Michael Police. Turn the lights on and ever so gently stick the camera into your face. Well, guess what? <laughs> We're back. Um, so one of the things, uh, obviously, formations in this game, um, units will automatically go into formation when they move. Um, one of the controls that we wanted to give was uh, a way to set the orientation of the formation. So now when I issue a command, before actually finalizing the command, I can say that I want them to um, face a different direction. Um, so when they travel to their destination, they will then face that direction. Um, you know, this is something actually we had in Dungeon Siege, believe it or not, where you could give an order to your group and then you could have them face a certain direction so that they could kind of meet the opponent or the enemy uh, from a certain direction. Mm -hmm. So it's great we're getting this uh, we're getting this in the game. That's very, very cool. And, and some of this is for the designers as well because uh, we're still in a stage where anything can change, um, depending on if something's more fun or not fun. So um, giving the, them the tools to test if something's fun or not, that's that's mainly the goal um, right now. Thanks very much for that, and we'll see you next time. Where's Elijah? Oh, what you working on? Uh, <clears throat> this is a concept for the uh, Viking King. Oh boy, you said Viking King. I, I did. Should I not say that? Uh, we had um, actual c feedback on the cracked out mailbag and comments on our forum. People saying they wanted to see. Vikings, not specifically a Viking. So for now, suffice to say, Viking king-like. Yes. Ever heard of a place called Wajamaya? Yes. Really? You've got some cool stuff. Kind of. Hey Ryan, have we had you in a video blog before? Nope. Well, I think it's about darn time we did. What are you working on? I am trying to figure out what the archer volley is gonna look like for gadgeteers. Oh, the gadgeteers. Yeah. What you're doing here is actually doing your concept work yep. using Max. Whereas yeah. Sung likes to do his concept work on the Photoshop. Yeah. On the tablet using Photoshop. Yeah. And uh, others somewhere in the world today someone's doing their concept on a sheet of paper. Oh yeah, I got that too. Oh you got that going on here? Introducing Bart take two. So I um, I apologize, Bart, because last time we were in here the tape broke. While introducing you, you are our Vice President of Production and a uh, co-founder of Gas Powered Games. You were a, a, an engineer on Total Annihilation, and uh, so you, you and I have been working together for, shoot, 13, 14 years? Okay. And there's your phone! <laughs> Cracked out mailbag. Let's cut to the chase. We have an email here from a gentleman who wants to know why we have so many beer bottles at our desk. Every time we ship a game, the guys on the team make a special bottle of beer. This is the one from Demigod featuring the Rook. And uh, this one's called the Hammer Slam Ale. Uh, the gentleman here is loving the video blogs and, uh, and liking the item in unlockable uh, spell element here. But we also did get some criticisms and some feedback against the item system. We take that into uh, that feedback to heart and are making sure that the item system is something that does not turn the game into a micromanagement game so that there's still, uh, you're still managing big armies and, and things like that. So, uh, but like anything in pre-production, if we go to play with these systems and they're not any fun, we change them. This question is really all about, will they be able to exclude the item system from certain kinds of multiplayer matches and things like that? In fact, I had an idea uh, to have a mode we call hardcore mode. Some folks were saying they don't like it the way the footmen, you know, go up and attack solid brick walls. What if there was a mode where you turned it on and 
they wouldn't do that. Uh, I think that, that, that we can get away with a certain number of, you know, here's a hardcore mode, here's a multiplayer ranked game mode, but we got to be careful. You don't want to end up with a screen like a 747 dashboard full of all these different switches and modes. So that's another exciting episode of Cracked Mailbag. Is it time for salad? So what I'm so doing is, uh, they're in here talking about some complicated programming stuff. Let's just sneak in and listen in. If a whole bunch of things change, um, let's say a thousand guys are all adding costs all throughout the map, and it causes a, I don't know, a thousand tiles to be you know dirty. Right. The solution is fully dynamic now, and I just feel like. Man, this is so awesome. I don't know if anybody else is doing this. Yeah. Are you making all this up because we're in here secretly videotaping or is no, this real? This is all no, real. This is all real? Yeah. It's That's pretty, great. It's pretty awesome. Is it time for salad? I have my salad here. Mmm. It's my lunch. And we're low on nuts. <laughs>